I'm going to see if I can pick it out. Okay. okay. I'm portraying a soldier of the 8th U.S. Infantry stationed at Fort McCavitt. McCavitt was the sister fort of Fort Belknap. Here it would be the 5th Infantry. Uh, but the uniforms would be the same. All you would know is that they have their regiment number on their collar. And I wear a 1851 style Shaco, which is a throwback to the War of 1812 uniform. But they wanted to make men look taller and more intimidating. Um, but they, no, the men didn't like them because they, they had leather and wood on the inside, which turned it into a brain boiler. So it's, it got out by 1858, these were gone. I, I have to say, yeah, they, they weren't around very long. You're the first example of one of those uniforms I've seen live and in person. I've just seen a few mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. But that's, that's neat. I'm glad you're here. What, okay, tell us about you. Uh, Second Cavalry, Fort Belknap. <laughs> and that's not much else to tell. Yeah. Uh, Second Cavalry, I'm, I'm Fort not, Belknap, not probably 50, 59, yeah, 59, something like that, that kind of deal. Just pre Civil War. All right, yeah. And Second Cavalry, Belknap as well. Okay, all right, good, good. And so I'm dressed in the uniform of the 16th Infantry that would have been stationed out of Fort Concho out in the 1870s. I'm a little more high tech than these guys. They have muskets, I have a trapdoor Springfield. Well, yeah, and 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 uh, that's a more uh, contemporary after Civil War type fort than say Belknap yeah, or that so kind of stuff. Concho was established right after the Civil War. Probably '67 or something like that. Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah. And it went all into the 1880s, 1890s. 